what's up guys so I am coming to you guys with a room tour I'm so excited to actually be doing this room tour because uh, it's long awaited I have been actually in this space since March and have been just doing so many DIY projects and um, just really gaining a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and Tumblr and YouTube and Instagram and just a lot of different you know avenues so I can look up home decor and stuff like that because I really have an interest for that and so I did make a post on Facebook and Instagram asking you guys that you guys want to see a room tour and a lot of my kind of closer friends and family said yeah they would so I'm guessing that the general public would too so this is a tour of my office space and I hope that you guys really enjoy it um, if you do want me to do a house tour I will be glad to do that as well because I do have a lot of like inspirational things around my home too so please enjoy and thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video thanks again first walk in you see that back wall right here and um, I kind of wanted it to be more of like an inspiration piece so um, I've changed the room around literally about 10 to 15 times and um, I kind of satisfied with the way it is now so in this corner over here you'll see my tripod for my camera and along this wall right here is the actual closet I'll show you and it's just a standard closet that comes in a bedroom it's nothing fancy about it and um, going on to this back wall area here I actually have this really nice uh, quote or kind of like a wall hanging art and it says fashion changes style remains which obviously is appropriate for my room and uh, this bookshelf right here is from Target I believe and um, I will link them if I can and also um, put the prices in the video if I can as well and so this rack is from Ikea it is relatively cheap so if you put a lot of uh, weight on top of it it will lean so I have it kind of snug in between both of those shelves this shelf I believe on the right side is actually from um, Ikea so Ikea and Target has similar shelves um, I will let you guys know below which one is a little more expensive or if they're around the same price and then on my rack I tried to keep it relatively neutral so it's like a lot of white and black some denim then I kind of got like some olive greens towards like the back end here um, but I just tried to keep it in a neutral palette going from like no sleeves into like longer thicker sleeves and I have like some grays in there thrown in so yeah I was just trying to keep it neutral that way I wouldn't be so busy with different colors because my sneakers already have like multiple colors in it and then the shelf that's underneath um on this rack I just house more sneakers and like the stuff that I have in boxes so a lot of my like casual shoes are like right in here and I keep them in the box still so yeah and then there's sneakers that are underneath there also <laughs> so then when you're looking at the shelf up top I have these two bags on this left shelf and uh, this one is like a wicker kind of basket type bag it's really cool I got this from the thrift store a few I want to say almost a year ago and I really like it it just gives me that like anthropology free people type vibe um, I have worn it as a purse so it's functional I mean it does look a little vintagey where it's kind of breaking apart but whatevs um, I really do like it and then this bag I just got recently from the thrift start as well it's more of like a makeup case kind of bag um it's from Estee Lauder and I would use it as a purse too <laughs> honestly but I think it's really dope so I just have them displayed there because I think they're cool um and then on the other shelf on the other side I actually got this uh bust form mannequin from Urban Outfitters. So I responded to a Craigslist ad and they were um, getting rid of their bust forms like some old ones that they had and I went to go pick them up and so I got three of these for 40 bucks but now I only own two of them. 
Um, and so I use this one to house all of my hats. These are like more my winter style hats, uh, the ones that are like more wool and everything. And then the ones next to it stacked on top of each other are a lot of my fedoras at the bottom and then going into like my Panama style like wicker hats. And moving on to the right is this large bookshelf that is from Ikea as well. I'll try to get a better like viewing of it, but it just goes down like that. And I house obviously all of my heels on here. Um, they pretty much fit perfectly onto this. I do the back and forth method so that I can fit more stuff right in there. But I love doing my heels like this because you get to see the actual heel height. You get to see what the toe box looks like also. And also, like I said, it just makes more room. So it's very appealing, but it's also functional to add more. I obviously have no space for any more heels but that is not gonna stop me but <laughs> so um, but yeah this is a really cool method to do for your heels um, I honestly could even install more shelves in this thing and like get more in there but uh, that's for a future project I guess next to that is one of those other mannequins from Urban Outfitters that I bought and on this mannequin I actually have a lot of my tribal kind of pieces a lot of like African inspired pieces and so um, I just house them right onto this mannequin and then the hats that is on here are like a lot of my summer kind of straw hats um, and some of my newer purchased hats that I have so I just gotta got them on there and I feel like they kind of go with the tribal kind of theme and so my mannequin is sitting on top of this box which I got from Ikea and then this one right here is like a box that can open up it actually says a quote on it too and I'll just insert a clip of that but I got that one this striped black and white box from Marshalls and on top of that of what is sitting on top of actually is this little three drawer set and I got that from Ikea as well and inside of these drawers I house my eyeshadows in the top drawer and the middle drawer is just like miscellaneous stuff and then the bottom drawer is like all of my tech stuff so I have just like a lot of different things that I use for phone cases and my Apple watch kind of cases and just everything miscellaneous for tech like you know chargers and uh -huh. and then moving along is my desk area and so this is like the office part of my actual um, office vanity makeup room whatever um, and so above are these drapes that I got from Walmart these are like a faux kind of chevron kind of a print and they're really cheap I think I ended up paying 10 or less for these and then the rod that it's on <clears throat> if you can see that I know that's probably really dark but here we go it was like two dollars so really uh, cheap installation for this like window treatment and on top of my desk or I guess I should talk about the actual table I'm using as a desk I got it from Ikea this gray table and then underneath is this faux fur like sheepskin rug and this chair is also from Ikea it's one of those faux like ghost chair situations um, I ended up getting it from the 50% off section in Ikea um, I do recommend you go to that section because it literally saves you so much money on top of my desk I have just to the left I'm sorry if it's shaky as well because I didn't use my tripod because I feel like my tripod sometimes gets in the way but anyways I have my laptop which is my MacBook Pro um, and then I have my phone here which is an iPhone 6 this case is the case that I used in my favorite or I showed you guys in my favorites video one of and it's the target and um bubble bar collection i love this case i get so many compliments and people ask me all the time and i got it from target and then i have my apple watch right here this is the 32 millimeter um yeah and so moving on i have this box that i actually did a diy on i had this box for a very long time i ended up getting it from i believe dollar tree and inside of this box i just house all of my like memory cards and sd cards and all kind of stuff like that usually on top of this box keep the camera that i'm using right now so it has like just the 
a little lens cap on top of it right now. This candle is from Altered State. Love the scent of this. This is Coconut Milk Mango. Smells really good. It's a soy candle, which is supposedly better for you than like your average candles. And obviously I cannot open it with one hand, but it's a really nice candle. I'll probably insert a little clip. Um, so behind there is this white vase. I got this from Alter State as well. And the flowers are fake. The orange reddish ones are actually from Ikea. And the white ones I believe are from the Dollar Tree. So moving along, I am using a Mac Mini as my computer desktop. And I just have the cordless uh, wireless um, Apple keyboard with the cordless wireless um, mouse and I'm using actually a Dell monitor as my monitor. I do want to eventually get an Apple monitor or even like some type of uh, larger framed like screen so that is in the works soon. On over to the side is this mug. I actually got this from the thrift store. It was about two dollars. I love it that it is like a sweater. It looks like a sweater, but it's obviously plastic um, <laughs> or ceramic. And this is also from the thrift store. I get a lot of my things from the thrift store and they don't look like they came from the thrift store, if that makes any sense. Like it, it just looks like I bought it at a really nice store or Target or wherever. But um, yeah, so this was about like a dollar as well. And I just put a little tea light candle in there. This was also from the thrift store. It's like a jewelry case probably that you would use. But I house like all of my office kind of um, like desk tools, I guess, you know, like any type of accessory that you would need. Like I got stamps in there. I have push pins. I have like some gel sticks. I even have some post notes. I even have, um, some of those like carry on or those tags that you use to put on your luggage, um, when you need to fill it out. I have tape in there. I have all every kind of like desk essential that you'll need outside of a stapler, which I do need to buy. Um, but yeah, I just house all of that stuff in there and I like that it's like this clear see-through thing so I can really see through the glass and see whatever it is that I need. Um, and behind there is just another one of those white vases that I got from Alter State with the same type of flower. The next thing that I have on my desk is my iPod or iPad mini um, and I have it on this like little easel stand that was black and I painted it um, gold spray painted it gold but it's starting to chip away so I either need to just paint it again I guess then <laughs> right above or on the side of my desk here is a cork board that I got from Ross and if you can see the cork board it's like this really cute kind of pattern along the back side um but obviously i'm taking up the entire board so you can barely see it but i used to put like inspirational pictures from magazines and stuff like that to keep me inspired and keep me motivated on styling and stuff like that but it's become a hodgepodge of like everything and then going back towards the door this is the wall that is like right flush against the door and this is like one of my favorite parts of this room i really like like the collage of artwork and everything so starting from the left side these this R and this G I actually got from a store called at home I love that store it's so awesome if you have one in your area you should really go check it out I got those two from there obviously my company and everything about you know my social media presence and everything is RG mode and so obviously and those are also my initials so RG is appropriate in my office space. Um, going forward over here, I got this one from, I believe, Ross. And it's just a really nice illustration in black and white. And I just really like it. Uh, it's like fashion little piece. And the black and white um, Queens borough kind of um, um, neighborhood sign I got from the thrift store I believe that was like five or six dollars but I think it originally came from Target and like I said they always have stuff that you honestly can find at Target or Walmart or anywhere so 
check your local thrift stores first when you're deciding to like really decorate you know your apartment or house or whatever because you can find a lot of good stuff the next three picture frames came in a set and those are from ikea i believe it was about ten dollars for all three of those and i just put inside of each picture frame a uh, printed out like illustrations and quotes so the starting from the bottom People will stare, make it worth their while from Harry Winston quote and I just printed it on regular paper and just inserted it into this picture frame. This illustration was inspired by this one. I just googled like you know fashion illustrations and then I printed this out and put it into this picture frame and then um, of course the infamous product artwork that people have in their homes especially fashion stylists or makeup artists or whatever. If you've seen if you've like been looking at people's house tours you definitely seen something like this and so I googled it and I just printed it out and put it into this frame so really easy DIY going on top of this bookshelf this is also one of the Ikea uh, cubby bookshelves that I will insert below and starting from the right side actually this um, two mannequins two little Nina forms are from that store at home they were on sale ended up um buying them i think for like 10 and then like 15 i believe and this one this actual like necklace holder is from ross and i ended up getting 10 percent off because it was super dusty in the store and i just felt like okay i'm not gonna buy something that's filthy you know for full price i know that i could lint roll it at home or whatever but so they ended up giving me 10 i think or 10 to 15 percent off and i believe it was only nine dollars so just a few change off which you know I mean if you can get percentage off go for it um <laughs> the next thing is this tray which houses all of my watches so my Marc Jacobs watches my Nixon and stuff like that and it also I got this tray in here which is from the thrift store also I love that it has three different compartments because I wear studs a lot I love love stud earrings and I actually have it separated by like really big studs to like the ones that have like the little hook and then the actual small studs so I thought this was awesome to separate the three different styles that I do own and this tray was from the Dollar Tree literally like six years ago I've had this for so long and it was literally a dollar and it's just a regular tray you know this mirror is from um, a thrift store here in Austin it's not like a goodwill it's it's like a local type of thrift store and I fell in love with this mirror it's super heavy it's actually like wooden um, I don't know if you can see that my lighting isn't the best but it's definitely like a I feel like it's a Mexican inspired like tiling like I'm not really sure but it's really heavy and industrial and it's just really beautiful I love it so moving on over to the next side I have this plant that's a faux like plant <laughs> and it's from Ikea a lot of their faux small plants are only like five bucks which is awesome and then this little like paint bucket I believe I got this paint bucket from um target i believe it was from target and it's there like one three and five dollar section when you as soon as you first walk in and i love that section because you can get so much stuff and it's really cheap so i just put the plant into the little paint bucket to add to the like gold kind of inspired look and then over here is another like diy type of project that i found on pinterest and i really love it amy song she um, had her jewelry, her, her bracelets displayed like this and I saw it on Pinterest and I fell in love with it. And this thing is a really good idea. A lot of like wine bottles and champagne bottles are really um, attractive and cute and sometimes you want to keep them. And so uh, really a good idea is to display your bracelets on them like this and yeah so that's what I did to three different bottles and then back here is this necklace holder that I got from Ross this one is actually not the best quality because it does tend to lean and it's it's holding a lot of like weight right now but um 
I don't know if it's just the type of pole that's not great or if it's just this one in particular, but they can't hold a lot. So you may need to lean them on a wall like how I'm doing. So showing you guys what's actually in the cubbies. I'm going to start from the left to the right. Um, so in this top one is another one of those pots from Target. And then the top one, um, I mean, inside of the pot is actually a plant from Ikea. This bunny ring holder is from Urban Outfitters and this small little tray right here is also a ring holder that um, I actually got as a gift from one of my old managers and I do believe that she got it from Forever 21. Below that is these two boxes are from Ikea. Um, this plant is actually from Altered State and uh, this actual mug is from Anthropology with the R initial on it. In here are my magazines and so these magazine holders are from Target in that same section, the $135 section. And um, I just have my subscriptions to Essence and Style, People Style and my Vogue's. I'm starting to collect the September issues of Vogue now and so I have the two previous years and now of course I have to get the 2016 September Vogue. And moving on to these boxes right here, they are from the Dollar Tree. In them I house like different types of jewelry pieces and stuff or beads and stuff to create jewelry and all that type of stuff and this little succulent is also from altered state i love that little guy so cute um this basket below here is also from the target in that same one three and five dollar section in here i house all of my other bracelets and bangles and you know anything like that anything that's a little bit chunkier and i also have some earrings in there as well it's just a catch-all for like majority of the rest of my jewelry Moving on to this next cubby, I have this like mail holder. If you can see, um, it's just one of those like mail holders that has like the slots and everything. And in this, I have obviously my notebooks. And so it's just a way to organize all of my notebooks without having them like all cluttered on top of my desk. And the bottom one is of books that I am currently reading and or have already read. And the book ends are from the thrift store. They were originally already this golden color. Color. I did not paint them so it was a bomb that they came this color already going on to the next cubby I have another one of those initial mugs from anthropology and I have another one of those plants that is from altered state uh, this mirror back here I believe I got it from Ross this bowl right here is one of my favorites i actually have all of my newer like stud earring pieces in here and if you can see like it says new york um i believe it says london if you can see sorry i can just take everything out but <laughs> it says san francisco paris new york london it's just a really cute and it looks to me like something that you would use for fashion because it has like a lot of like fashion cities and stuff like that so um i just house all of my newer jewelry so that i can remember to actually wear it and um down below here uh this r back here is a diy project the r actually came from ross no marshalls i got the r from marshalls it was originally white and then i got this spray paint that is like a textured when it sprays out it doesn't spray out like regular gold it sprays out kind of like confetti or like string like you know that string spray that you spray during parties or something it's similar to that but it's in a spray paint um and so it gave it this like textured look and then i have this picture frame that i ended up getting from my mom and um, I don't know where she got it from, but I ended up printing out this um, like Chanel drip kind of, you know, art and I just put it in a fit frame. So it's another like DIY kind of project. And, and that is what's in my cubbies as of right now. So moving on from my door, I have this like blank space right behind the door and I actually want to put like a full size mirror right here. Um, eventually that's what I'm going to use this like little nook for. Moving over, I have this 
clock that is from ikea this clock is like a dollar and 50 cent i believe at ikea and i like it because it's like clear so it can go with any decor we have like three of these in our house right now um and they're so cheap and i have this clothes pin which i think is really unique as well and this is from that store at home again and then like i said this is my closet which is a whole nother video if you want me to get into that and um i noticed i did um turn on the light on my rack I did notice that I didn't have it on and I think that's what's kind of cool and I will turn off the lights because you can see like what it looks like the vanity area which is last but not least I got this desk from Target um, this desk I believe was $69 I will try to find it on target.com and link it below and um, yeah originally when we were living in an apartment our bedroom furniture was this sandy light brown wooden furniture and it really went well with the matching of the bedroom so that's why I got this desk um, if it was if I knew that I was gonna have move into a home that had a room that I can have as an office I would have definitely gotten an all-white desk probably but um, I'm just working with it for now I'm thinking of spray painting it so stay tuned for some updates maybe um, this chair is actually a really like dark turquoisey tealy type color um, I got this chair from Target it's a really nice chair however um, it obviously doesn't go with my decor so I have this like really soft furry fluffy kind of like throw that I just put right on top of my chair and it also is just very like comfortable and so yeah I just put that on top so that I won't see the fact that it's a blue chair in like a prominently black and white type of room and so on my vanity I have this like cake cup kind of cupcakey <laughs> tower um, or you can really pretty much put anything on it obviously and this is in the um, kitchen section from Ikea like I said I will link it below if I can um, so on top I have a lot of my like lip balms hand sanitizers lotions and then this like little um, jar which is actually an old candle that I deposit I put all of my new lip products and I do have these labels and you'll see more labels throughout and it's just these labels right here that I got from Target and they're um, the all chalked up chalkboard stickers and so I also have labeled my um, makeup brush holders these pots are from um, Dollar Tree and I just put these labels on top of it I mean honestly it's black on black so you can barely tell that there's a label but um, I just thought that it would be cool to actually label what was in each this mirror is also from Ikea it is supposed to light up um, but it kind of sucks because it eats up batteries um, it's not the best at lighting up and sometimes it gets really dim or it just doesn't turn on altogether so I'm kind of proud that it just turned on just now moving on next to that is this Jador Dior Christian Dior makeup case slash perfume case. I think it was a part of a gift for the Jador Christian Dior perfume. And um, I got this from the thrift store. Uh, it's like a white leather case. Um, it's pretty cool. I like that it says Dior on the other side of it if you can see that. And uh, inside of here I just house all of my actual like foundation bases and my setting um, powders and stuff like that and my actual setting sprays and I have this little glass container in here also um, that I got from the thrift store but oh just lost one um, but it's really like cool and crystally and antique kind of similar to the stuff that I have on my desk and I just thought that it was really nice and vintage looking so that are these plexi drawers um, these are actually from Ross no Marshalls I got these from Marshalls and in here I hold all of my lip products and so on the top so it's two different ones so it's it's like a three drawer system and I just have two stacked on top of each other and so um, I have like my lip glosses and lip pencils in the top one and then the bottom one starts my like lip stick products 
and then these two like lipstick holders are from forever 21 i think they were four dollars each right in front of it i keep all of my like palettes because i have nowhere to really store it right now um but yeah it's just all of my like different type of palettes and that is an overview of the top of my vanity and then opening the drawers this is what this looks like and so it's just like all of my like eyeliners to mascaras to my brows and um my like pencils and all the tools i use to do my brows and stuff and then my actual pencil liners for my eyes and then it's like all of my like contour powders and blushes and bronzers and and eyelash stuff and this whole contour palette and then i have a few more palettes of eyeshadow stuff that i use on a regular in here and so that is what the drawers look like the drawers are not super deep so um it's not as awesome for storage um and then these plexi containers i actually got from marshall's and it came in a set so all of these came in one set even this one um but unfortunately the drawer wasn't large enough for me to like actually put it all in one drawer about like ten dollars for that whole like set so that was cool and then i got these which you also saw me use for my eyeshadows um i got that from ikea in the kitchen section and this is supposed to be for utensils but obviously you can use it for whatever you like so this is my entire room tour